that this is so, that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. You see, that things to come, that should enable us to live in, the, live in faith, live in the Spirit. Nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I ask you again, how do you feel? Because there are going to be times that we don't feel all that spiritual. Hmm? Let me tell you something. It's a blessing if you can realize it. If God can show you you're in the flesh, well, get out of the flesh. Walk in the spirit. Put off the old man. Like an old garment, it says, put on. As the elect of God, the Bible said, vows of mercies. And you see, clothe your thing, yourselves in the spirit of God. Walk in the spirit. Colossians 3 and 16 says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. We were singing the, uh, earlier, uh, shine Jesus shine. And I was thinking while we were singing that, it says, set our hearts on fire. How's that going to happen? Remember when they walked with him and then they parted company and they said, didn't as he spoke to us, didn't our hearts burn within us? You want God to set your heart on fire? Get in the book. Like I heard B.R. Lakin said, have the book get in you. Walla in the word, he said. Here's our problem, mine and yours. We want some quick fix that's not going to take a lot of effort. That goes back to the flesh and self. God help us. We ought to feel right. We ought to feel at peace with God. There's no condemnation. You flub up. You sin. You fail. Get up. Get on your face before God. Get in the Word. Walk in the Spirit. And the Spirit of God will take care of of our feelings. You see, Romans 8, 26, we don't know what to pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself helpeth our infirmities. Let's stand together. Ask our musicians to come. Appreciate your patience last Sunday and today. Had no idea that when I started this thing, it would take two services. But that's all right. I hope, if nothing else, I've shown you how rich Romans chapter 8 is. Amen. And there are nuggets of goodness and truth that we did not touch in Romans chapter 8. And if we'll just study, God knows us. <coughs> Who knows the spirit of man better than God? And we're not feeling right. Because we're not right. Let's get right. Amen. Our Father, thank you for the privilege to be your children. Thank you that you care about us. You even care about how we feel. Help us, our Father, to trust you. Help us to be obedient. Help us to walk in the Spirit. I pray in Christ's name. Amen. Sing with us now as we sing. Take my love.
we're going to meet together and uh, look at our Christmas con uh, Easter cantata and try to get ready to, to sing that. we we'll just kind of look over it a little bit this evening. But we want to begin at 5 o'clock. That doesn't mean show up at 5 o'clock. That means at 5 o'clock be ready to open the thing and let's go. Okay? I hope that makes sense. All right? If it doesn't, maybe you're going to be in charge of something one of these days where you need people to be on time. All right? Now, you watch after all that. I'll have a car trouble and be late. So, the bulldog will act up. All right? If you want to read up for things tonight, we're going to study Psalm 1 together. The godly man. Amen. We'll look at that some together. All right, let's be dismissed in prayer. Brother Ross, thank you for being here. Dismiss us in prayer, please. Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to be here today. I appreciate the word the Master's given to us in your particular word tonight for us today. Keep in mind, dear Lord, that all these things are out of the pleasure.